The early Monday morning peace on Woodridge Circle shattered in a moment. I heard a bunch of banging on the door, like kicking and pounding on the door. When I got to the other room, the guy was um, strangling on my mom. I couldn't figure out who he was. I couldn't figure out what he wanted, which I did ask him when he went for my throat. Candy Coon was able to get away and tried to get to her brother's home down the street before things got worse. Came to the door, opened it, and it was my sister-in-law, Candy, at the door. She was hysterical. She was covered in blood. Kicked me, bit me, drug me around. I was trying to search, like, inside of me for a gun or something like that. Horry County police say the man was 25-year-old Melvin Johnson, a neighbor. Officers say he had already assaulted his mother before going after his neighbors. We had no idea at that time that this guy had already shot his mother in the head. Then we found out what he did to Mrs. Garcia. And I started hearing the old woman in there screaming. So I ran across the street and went in the house, and I started screaming at him to get off of her. And he started coming over and hitting me in the head. Tammy Crabtree says she caught Johnson's attention. He went after her instead of attacking her elderly neighbor. I see my husband run from my mother-in-law's house next door into the Garcia's home. And then I hear my husband yelling at somebody. When I realized it was him, it's almost like he snapped. He snapped back to reality. And like I said, he didn't come at me threatening me at all. You know, I mean, I, I any minute I thought he could have dropped, you know. I think all the air was just out of him. This is someone that we know, someone we see every day, someone our child has been around, our child has played with his child. When the ambulance got there, they tried to take care of me, and I told them no to go in the house because the, uh, Mrs. Garcia needed help right away. Between Tammy and my husband, they're both heroes, and my sister-in-law. Everybody did really good. The, um, there were a lot of cops and stuff. Thankfully, everybody involved is okay. Police say Johnson was on a drug known as wet. It's a mixture of formaldehyde and marijuana. However, the neighbors here in Woodward Circle, they blame the drug, not Johnson, for the rampage. In Little River, Will Whitson, WMBF News.